This is my final project for Com 4240 and I will be examining hegemonic masculinity in the character Gaston from Disney's 1991 film Beauty and the Beast. In this clip, Gaston talks about how perfect Belle is solely because he believes that he himself is perfect. Therefore, he is entitled to someone as beautiful as Belle. Even the blonde triplets that will come up say how wonderful he is solely based on the visual appeal Gaston has. They even go so far as to call him a strong and handsome brute. Gaston sings along with the townspeople and while Gaston is focusing on her beauty, the townspeople sing about how she's different but in an odd and funny way and that it's a pity because she's so beautiful. Later I will bring this up again and how it will both fuel and benefit Gaston later. In this clip, Gaston criticizes Belle for reading a book because it le could lead to her having her own ideas and thought process, something Gaston would find unattractive. If a woman could think for herself, then she is more likely to become less reliant on a male figure to take care of her, in this case, Gaston. Talking about it. It's not right for a woman to read. Soon she starts getting ideas, thinking. Gaston barges into Belle's house and makes all of these declarations of what their life would be like together. Every part of his fantasy is about what he wants, never considering Belle's interests or perspective. She's just meant to be a beautiful wife and caretaker. Gaston continues and says they will live in a lodge while his wife does the cooking, tending to her husband by massaging his feet, and taking care of their six or seven strapping boys along with the dogs, as Belle tries to put distance between herself and Gaston. Instead, he kept trying to trying to corner her and kiss her. All of this is done without Belle's consent. Say you'll marry me. The beginning of the montage is about Gaston's hurt pride over Belle rejecting his proposal. LeFou and the townspeople take it upon themselves to try and cheer him up by showering him with compliments and admiration of how Gaston is a god among insects. LeFou sings how Gaston is one of a kind and listing all of his qualities and characteristics, like being swift, quick, or having a thick neck, strong biceps, being a good at fighting, and hunting. Even his bad qualities were met with approval by the townsfolk. The whole song is about Gaston being the epitome of masculinity and that he could do no wrong, even when it comes to constantly harassing, blackmailing, or physically grabbing at the female lead, Belle. Because Gaston is the pinnacle of what everyone should strive to become, it's okay because Gaston is a man's man. When the townspeople asked her if the beast was a threat, she stated no. Gaston, seeing Belle's look of love towards the beast, hurts his pride as a hero and a man. He sees the opportunity of taking the mirror to discredit Belle and incite fear and hostility towards an unknown creature. The people immediately trust Gaston because he is a strong and beloved figure and a hero to the town while Belle, who has actually lived and interacted with the beast, is disregarded because of her bad reputation within the community. To the people, Gaston's voice will always supersede Belle's.